Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumed channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Ambrose Kits K95 mask. We recently tested their adults K95 and unfortunately those did not meet the K95 pressure drop requirements. So I'm actually very interested to see how these kits mask test. Here is the listing. These K95 are made in the USA. They also have a 4.5 out of 5 rating with 83 reviews. They currently are being sold for $49.95 for a 20 pack, making them $2.49 each. These are the same price as the adult size, which is a bit on the pricier side, but they do offer a subscription that saves you 30%. The packaging is also very similar to the adult's K95. They say to be ASTM level 3, and it has their filtration efficiency and breathability results. Now let's go ahead and take a look at one of these masks. This is how they look. It has a very nice construction quality. They do have a nose wire and nose foam. This is how they look from the inside. So let's go ahead and try it on. If you saw the previous review for the adults K95 from Armbrust, they didn't fit my face properly. They were a bit large. So I'm, I am hoping that maybe the kids fit me, but they kind of seem a little small. <laughs> they do have a um, big gap here, so it doesn't actually go around my whole chin. Obviously, they are a kid's mask, so I was just hoping that these fit me since they only have those two sizes. I'm going to um, seal this with my hands. And as you guys can see, I am getting a bit of collapse. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that the nose foam is a bit itchy, so it's not as comfortable as I thought it'd be. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it onto a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is in a attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on a TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.66% with a pressure drop of 27.9. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.26 and had a pressure drop of 32 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99 0.46 and had a pressure drop of 29.8 millimeters of water. So we're back now, and as you guys saw from the TSI results, these tested very similar to the adult K95. The highest pressure drop result was 32 millimeters of water, which is equivalent to 313.81 pascals. The K95 breathability requirement is 210 pascals, so unfortunately, these also do not meet the K95 standard. Although the construction quality was very nice and it had the added feature of the nose foam, we wouldn't really be able to recommend these K95 due to the pressure drop. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next or just any other content that you would like to see in our channel in our comment section below. We also have a lot of important information in the description box like our website which is acumed.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.